Hey, good morning, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity. That is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And this morning, we continue our blade test series. Blade uh, n test number five, the Treat Platinum. Treat Platinum from Pakistan. This is a, um, I believe a stainless blade, platinum coated. And unlike the Treat Carbon, this is a silver blade. This one is black. With uh, you can see the silver exposed edges and stuff. If you're familiar, or many of you are with the Treat Platinum. Not the sharpest blade in the world. Now I hear some great things about the Treat Platinum. Many of you have already used it. You already know about it. I've read reviews that they're very, um, very good reviews. Four or five star kind of reviews, like on ItalianBarber.com, for example, and a few other websites. So to show you how it's wrapped, it is a double wrapped versus the uh, versus the platinum, which I, I mean versus the. Uh, black or carbon, which I believe is single wrapped. So this one's double wrapped in, it's like a little wax paper liner, and then the outer wrapper. Uh, looks like minimal glue budding on one side, right here. And then it just says treat platinum, super stainless on each side. And uh, it says A and A on one tab here and B on that tab there. So let's load it up in our Rockwell 6C, uh, 6S, pardon me, plate four. Yesterday shaved mostly probably because I had, I had four days growth and uh, that, that Asco was again, like the Asco Red, this Asco Blue Red, as I'm calling it, to differentiate. If I say red, blue, you might hear the red first, not hear the blue, and think it's the same blade. It was very smooth, very sharp. Um, I really, I mean, I'm closer on that shave even this morning than I was waking up on normal days when I used the Titan or the Zay before I went to the uh, the Cue Ball slash Crystal Platinum. So we are locked in there, nice and even alignment. Today's uh, software, of course, the hardware is the Atomic A, uh, the uh, Atomic Rocket Brush from Phoenix Shaving, 26 mil synthetic soft style knot. The Crown King Atomic Age Bay Rum. There's a little chill in the air. We've got a cool front, so this little nice warming spring reminder scent. So Atomic Age Bay Rum, matching aftershave splash, star jelly. There's original. Shave X Allen block at the ready to do our test, see how comfort and everything goes. And the cube mentholated from Phoenix Shaving as a pre-shave. Out of the shower, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. Quote, to quote Nick Shaves. Did not warm up the tap, obviously, so I gotta run this for a second. Figurative, not literal. All right. Wet the face. We'll prep. Leave that little layer there. hand. A little kick of menthol. See there's mentholated and um, non-mentholated and I have the mentholated one so you get that little kick of menthol. Dip the tips, shake the brush, and start. I misspoke yesterday. The order arrives today with the uh, Green Ray brush, the triple uh, hybrid knot, synthetic hybrid knot, fan bulb, hybrid shape, um, the Planet 9, and the Avonice shave, so, pardon me, so I had to go with another today, and with the cool front moving in, I figured a little bay room would be nice, I have a small, I have a, not a sample, but the smaller size, I guess you can call it a sample in a way, a bar soap of a Sterling Bay Rum, I did buy the Bay Rum, uh, Atomic, Atomic Age Bay Rum, uh, Shamp conditioning shampoo puck. So I'm gonna smell all bay rum today. Initially I didn't think I'd like bay rum, but once I got a real whiff of it, 
when I want a tub of Captain's Choice uh, with cream, which is really nice cream, super slick. Highly recommend it. Um, the more I started to appreciate it, and of course when uh, Doug was put out this bay room and I got the smell it, I was like, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Now I get why he's in love with it. I'm not in love with bay room, but I really do like it. <laughs> he's a bay room fanatic, as you know. But I have learned to really appreciate and respect and enjoy the scent. This one lives to advertise if you get some bay rums, you get a note of what seems to be a clove-like scent. This does not. He also has the, for another bay, he has this barrel-aged bay rum and leather, which is a loyalty program purchase. So if you have a thousand points to knock it down, then you, to be able to clear it, make it available for you, then it's $24.95, I believe. I bought it at Big Shave, uh, wow, can't believe it's going to be almost a year. <laughs> a year this month will be my anniversary of winning that title. So, yeah, 22nd. <laughs> so, April 22nd, we'll be having our first anniversary of the, of the champion, of being the champ, <laughs> shave. <laughs> oh my God, it'll be a Sunday this year, won't it? I haven't checked the calendar, but I think it's a Sunday. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to go. I see that blade warmed up. First time I've used the tree platinum. I've only used the tree carbon, so we'll see how it goes, kids. Now I know Shane with Rich really likes this blade. Rich, if you watch, shout out to you and your dad, man. I've watched your last video. Very cool. That chic handle, by the way, it almost looked like football leather after steering wheel leather. It was really neat looking. <laughs> Smooth. Wow. For initial passes. Now this is one day's growth, but barely even that based on the based on the um, quality of yesterday's shave, which was really good. Just a reminder, or those who, are, who haven't watched the other videos yet, same methodology every time. Cube prep, uh, Crown King base soap, scents not always the same, but the same soap base. Rockwell 6S plate four every time. The only difference is the, um, the blade and it's new each time for these last five shaves. I think I've really just, in essence, fallen in love with this uh, the 6S. I think it's just an amazing razor. I uh, prefer just a little over the 6C. Might be the extra weight. Good first pass. Let's rinse. Uh, 
Yeah, quality first pass. Of course, I'm not working with as much hair. So I may be able to do this in two passes and clean up like yesterday. Leave that water on. Oh, yeah. So I did make the purchase. Ah, the black Blackland Blackbird is now mine, my possession. Met up with John Gilmore yesterday. Thank you again, John. <laughs> Very happy with it. Um, I'll be using it soon enough. I need to sell some razors really quick, really badly. Because I really, I mean, having that, this, you know, the Rockwells. And I could, I could live with those and maybe Maybe he one or two for travel, like my 34C or. Second pass. Blades cruising along nicely. Mistake there, but that's just a little skin. I gotta watch that turn pass like I was doing on the neck yesterday. Yeah. So there I have there I have some weepers, but that was uh error. That was not the blade. I did that. That was user error. I'm going to have some stuff there. <laughs>
rinse off. See where we're at. Ugh. Looks like generally the spots are closed minus one or two. I touch up some spots. I'm just gonna lather up full, touch up some spots. Ooh. Sorry, making noises. May have some weeper issues. Maybe I got a little cocky. Should have listened to Han Solo, a great kid. Don't get cocky. So any interest for y'all out there in the Solo movie? I didn't just find, I didn't find the, the Last Jedi all that. In hindsight, it was entertaining, but had a lot of problems. Of the three, you know, recently released ones since 2015, uh, definitely Rogue One was my favorite. I mean, there's just scenes alone. There was almost like scenes of horror, like at the end with Vader and, you know. Let's rinse and then cold water rinse and then Allen block to prep or check. Uh, this one, I know for here it's gonna sting, but we'll see where else it does on the face. Mustache, I have a weeper. It's a decent shave. Um, Pretty good. All right, here we go. Not as bad as I anticipated. Um, here for sure on the mustache here. More, more so where I mean, where it's really talked to me is where I had some weepers, which makes perfect sense. Perfect sense, sure. Um, that the. Uh, the rest of it, not as bad as I anticipated. There was more today, but I expected that after having a really good shave and then a new blade and and just barely a day's growth. Excuse me. So, as we do the rest of our post shave, where would I put it? So, of the five we tested, I would say, comfort-wise, it's the Asco and the cue ball are right up there. The Asco cue ball slash crystal. So if they're right up here, it's like sharp and smooth. Let's say they're they they were pretty much on par, and 
the Zay was more comfortable. The Dorco was here, and I'd probably say the Zay may have been a tad sharper. And there's, then you got in here, the treat would fall. And that, um, the top of the, the middle third. So I wouldn't put it dead middle, but actually a comfortable shave. So for where I, I got cocky and, um, and cut myself or nicked my or you know gave myself some weepers i didn't have a lot of burn so a pretty quality blade definitely one usable for a lot of folks i would say um i would say if it's something you want to look into and get my recommendation definitely um cruise along just don't do what i did make some stupid hook type maneuver error and you know give yourself a little a little nick there but really the album feedback wasn't much more wasn't anything more than i expected worse that's that's what i'm trying to say i expected worse and it wasn't so bad i'm gonna get some damn hair trimming so i did a, i want to close that little weeper up there okay a little atomic age of bay rum All right, and we're done. Thanks for watching again, folks. Be safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Watch out for your schools on your school buses this Wednesday morning. Cheers, and I will see you. Might do tomorrow. i work all week. Yeah, screw it, we'll do tomorrow and see how our skin takes it. And I'll pull out a blade maybe I haven't used in a while. Or I'll go back and then we'll talk second shave on, like the ASCO thing. I'm not gonna do second shaves on the Zay and the Titan, Dorco Titan, there's just no way. So. I will see you all tomorrow for the next shave. Take care. Cheers. Love you all. And uh, too sweet.